Today at 6, we showed you how one Kansas college is hoping to keep classes going and keep students and staff safe in the age of COVID-19. KCTV 5 is your school authority, and tonight we're taking a closer look at the challenges universities are facing. Here's Joe Chioto with tonight's good question. College is a unique situation in the back to school debate. Not only are students in large lectures and classes, but they have roommates. They go to parties and large gatherings as well. And older kids frequent the bars. So how do you limit the spread in such an environment? Good question. Experts say testing is the answer. A new study suggests that college students should be frequently screened for COVID-19. How frequent? Well, researchers found that if you test students every two days, even with a low quality test, it could keep infections at a more controllable number compared to testing weekly with a higher quality test. The study published in the journal JAMA Network assembled this data using a hypothetical cohort of 5,000 students, 10 of which had the virus. Researchers found that if universities had indoor mask mandates and strict hand washing policies, less frequent testing could be adequate. Doctors say in the end, colleges are responsible for ensuring student safety, but students will also need to comply to these policies if they want to mitigate the spread of the virus. And that's the worry on many people's minds. We saw college kids on spring break at the beginning of this pandemic with really no care in the world. Many people wonder if college campuses could become hotspots because of this similar reason. Joe Chiodo, KCTV 5 News.